Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking. What can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clog line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just a click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing. Happy Leap Day. It's the Weather Extreme video for Saturday, February 29th, 2020. I'm Scott Martin. Enjoy this wonderful weekend as rain returns to the forecast early on Monday and we'll stick around through hunt day. The end of the work week looks fantastic at this point. We'll get to that in just a moment. I'm recording this video just after 11 p.m. on Friday night, and here are the temperatures from across the area. We are ranging from the lower 30s to the upper 40s across the area. The warm spot is Troy at 47 degrees, while Gadsden was the cold spot at 31 degrees. Birmingham was sitting at 43 degrees. Temperatures will continue to drop and will bottom out in the lower to upper 30s across the area just before sunrise. I have the radar set to precipitation depiction mode and we have a few showers moving across the northern parts of central Alabama and up into north Alabama, but at this point we do not see any snow flurries mixed in. Other than a few flood warnings remaining in the southwestern parts of the state for a couple of the river systems, no other watches, warnings, or advisories are in effect. We received news earlier on Friday from the National Weather Service Birmingham office that all rivers in central Alabama have returned below flood stage. That is definitely some good news. As far as rainfall, we could see totals topping out above 2 to 3 inches for central Alabama through the end of the next work week, with totals approaching 4 inches near the Tennessee border. Most of that will come on Wednesday, as you will see in a minute or so. More good news is that no severe weather is expected across the area today, as skies will be sunny. All right, model fans, let's dive into the forecast. We'll start off with the Zero Z run of the GFS valid today at noon. High pressure builds off to our southwest over the northern Gulf of Mexico, which will bring quiet weather to central Alabama for your Saturday. We'll start off with a few clouds, but those will exit quickly and skies will be sunny from the late morning through sunset hours. Afternoon highs will top out in the lower 50s to the lower 60s across the area from northeast to southwest. The high slides more towards the east coast of the Carolinas on Sunday, but we will remain dry throughout the entire day. Much of the day will be partly sunny with clouds really increasing during the evening and late night hours. Highs across the area will range from the lower 60s in the northeast to the upper 60s in the southwest. Rain chances increase sharply after midnight and into the pre-dawn hours on Monday for the north and northwestern parts of the area. We'll have a good chance of showers for the northern half of the area on Monday as one surface load develops over north central parts of Arkansas and moves northeast into the southeastern parts of Missouri. A few showers will be possible for the southern half of the area, but chances are much lower at this point. Skies will be mainly cloudy even when it's not raining. Highs will be in the lower 60s to the lower 70s from north to south. As the surface load continues to move away from us, Another one develops over the southeastern parts of Arkansas on Tuesday afternoon and will rapidly work across the northwestern parts of central Alabama and north Alabama during the late evening hours. Rain will continue to be likely for the northwestern half of the area with chances increasing for the southeastern half. A few thunderstorms will be possible, but severe weather is not likely at this point. Highs will be in the upper 60s to the mid-70s across the area. The threat for stronger to severe storms has really started to drop as a surface low will be moving across the southern half of central Alabama during the morning hours before dawn on Wednesday and will be in the northwestern parts of Georgia by sunrise. It will still take the cold front a little while to move through the area, so rain and thunderstorms will continue to be likely throughout the day. Some of those storms could be heavy and we may see a few isolated flash flooding issues. A strong storm with gusty winds may be possible but storms should be elevated for the most part. Highs will be in the lower 60s to the lower 70s across the area from northwest to southeast. Rainfall amounts look to range from 1.5 inches in the west and northwest to as much as 2.5 inches in the east and southeastern parts of the area. We'll keep our eye on the models to see if any big changes occur, especially when the high resolution models hit at the beginning of the week. High pressure quickly builds back in on Thursday and skies will quickly clear out 
during the early morning hours. By the late morning, we should have close to maximum sunshine across the area and temperatures will be really nice. Highs will range across the area from the lower 60s in the northwest to the upper 60s in the southeast. High pressure continues to dominate our weather and we'll stick with mostly sunny skies and highs in the lower to mid 60s across the area on Friday. That will wrap it up for today's Weather Extreme video. Bill Murray will have your next video out bright and early on Sunday morning. I'm Scott Martin signing off for today. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.